Hi, I'm Bailey Hubler, and this is episode 13 of Trojan TV. Last week was a food drive which was organized by Student Council. Students and staff were able to bring in canned food and hygiene products that then made their way over to the food bank for families in need of those products. Thanksgiving is coming up and our reoccurring food segment with Aaron and Lexi, also known as LA's Munch, went around and asked students what their favorite Thanksgiving dishes are. After getting this information, they ranked and reviewed the different foods. Hi, I'm Aaron Powell. I'm Lexi Gagnon. And this is LA's Munch. Today we are going to be trying Thanksgiving sides. The first thing we'll be trying is macaroni and cheese. That is bland. That is nasty. It tastes like mac and cheese, and I like mac and cheese, so um, I think it's fine, so. I give the mac and cheese an eight out of 10. I give the mac and cheese a four out of 10. Our next side is gonna be mashed potatoes. I really like those. Do you not like them? No, I don't. Oh, I was like, oh my God, those are so good. I say 10 out of 10. Uh, I like them. I think an eight out of 10, too. Our next side will be a Thanksgiving roll, which of course is Hawaiian. I think that was a total 10 out of 10. I think it's a 10 out of 10 too. Love my bread. Next we're gonna be trying three different cheesecakes, raspberry, chocolate, and the original cheesecake. Four out of 10. There is something wrong with this crust. Next we're gonna be doing the chocolate. Um, six out of 10. That's so nasty. That is so nasty. Okay, well, no. Who made that? What this third one's gonna be like. Well, I think like it was good, and then there was like this weird taste at the very, at very the end. end. It was like next is the raspberry cheesecake. That that is the best one. That is like a seven out of ten. It's the best one. It is. I would say it's, eight out of ten. Yeah, it's pr it's pretty. I good. thought it was pretty good. Actually, I might finish it. In fourth place was cheesecake bites. Why? Who said that? No, that's understandable, actually. And third place was mac and cheese. Uh, I'm not sure that's valid. I she should be like I think two. She's second. Yeah. yeah. Oh. In second place was rolls. No. Who put rolls in second place? And ain't no way. Rolls are <laughs> rolls are number one. In first place was mashed potatoes. That's like a third place. Who like, who are you people? Now we are going to rank our favorites. Um, in fourth place for me, I'm gonna put the cheesecakes. Okay. I'll put in fourth place the cheesecakes. In third place, I'm gonna put the mac and cheese. Third place, I'm gonna put the mac and cheese. Second place is the mashed potatoes for me. Second place is the rolls. First place is the rolls. First place is mashed potatoes. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next time on LA's Munch. Throughout the year, we have seniors signing to colleges to continue their athletic and academic career. This will take place in the Media Center. This has been an ongoing tradition for many years.
Last week we had three seniors sign to colleges, Lexi Gannon, Jada Kelly, and Brendan Buseman. Here are their overall thoughts. Hi, it's Mr. Cornelson at Andover High School. I'm the AD here. Uh, with the signings that we do, it is a little unique in the aspect of we do it individually and not all together. Uh, some schools will put five, six people on the stage and we like to just keep it very unique so grandparents, parents, friends, and family can celebrate the athlete because he works so hard um, for four years and they, we just want to have their moment and that's why we do the signings like we do. It's a really good experience, you know, like the journey that I've had coming up to this point, all these family and friends, um, just getting to see them come all together and for this one big moment in my life to continue my baseball career is, is really fun, really exciting. It's a good moment. Yeah, I was really excited whenever any college would reach out to me. I, I was really kind of excited for the opportunity and I wasn't sure like what each college had to do for me. I wasn't sure where each college was or how their coaching staff was or their players were. So whenever any college reached out to me, I got really excited. I think it'll be really different. It's a lot more intense. The level of the players will be a lot higher. There'll be way more athleticism, way more height and strength. And I feel like I'll definitely need to get a lot better in those opportunities, but I'll, they'll give me a lot of chances to get a lot better with their training staff, their coaches, and the other players. It's just iron sharpens iron. So I feel like I'll get a lot better. Uh, I'm probably just most nervous about just leaving my hometown that I've lived in my whole life. I got to go to a whole new state by myself and just be with whole new people, meet new friends, and just something different that I've never done before, but I'm excited for it. I was super excited. Anytime someone would like talk to me, I would just be super excited. And I remember just telling my mom and dad, like, look who just contacted me. Like, I'm super excited and it's going to be a lot different. I'm, I know that. It's a big time commitment. I'm going to be training every single day, working out every single day, making myself better every single day. And just and everyone else there is doing the same thing and you're just going to be competing for all these different spots that you need. And so it's just going to be a huge difference, a big, big jump. And I'm, I'm really excited to see how it's going to work out. I'm just going to be nervous about not being at home and just like meeting new people and just like having new teammates to like get involved with uh, because it's not going to be the same people that I've been playing with for like the past four years. Same with like my club teammates, it's not going to be the same. It's going to be a different experience and there's like an excitement that it's just like really hard to describe and it's, it was just amazing. It's a fun experience. I was very excited. I definitely saw it as such a big blessing because it was one of my top schools all along and just to see God work it out that way, I was super, super excited. I definitely think it's going to be a big commitment and I'm going to have to continue to put on hard work and be dedicated, but I'm excited definitely to get better at my craft and grow in my sport. Um, I do think it's going to be a really big commitment though. So. I'm a little nervous because competing at the collegiate level is going to be a big change, um, but I know it'll be good. I'm really excited for the opportunity to get better over the next four years and just really hone in and perfect my craft. Yay. Have a fun and safe Thanksgiving break. See you next episode.